All right, after a beautiful October weekend, we have two rounds of rain to be dealt with on Monday. One in the early afternoon as this area of low pressure comes up the coast, and then the second by the late night hours, even overnight into early, early Tuesday morning as the passage of a cold front comes at us from the north and the west. This is one we're going to have to watch closely because that brings a threat of some strong to severe thunderstorms. So round one, a few showers and maybe a rumble of thunder in the afternoon. Round two, late night, well after uh, 9 o'clock or so, which will bring some pockets of heavy rain. Again, some maybe strong to severe thunderstorms, those of which bring some damaging wind as a possibility, maybe even some hail, of course, lightning, minor street flooding will be possible. This will be very fast moving, so we won't see any soaking prolonged rain to give us any flooding. So increasing clouds tonight, it'll be quiet, it'll be nice. And for the first half of the day tomorrow, it should be nice. Round one works in around the noon hour or so, and then we see round two later on in tonight. So here's future track taking us into Monday morning. The commute looks good. I would just give the kiddos a rain jacket or an umbrella because by recess and lunchtime, there will be a few showers around. This is round one taking us into 1, 2 o'clock. Then there's a lull for the afternoon and the evening commute. So then headed home from work or school at the bus stop. Don't see anything uh, to disrupt the travels there. But by the late night, here's 10, 11 o'clock. Here comes the front broken line of some showers and thunderstorms approaching from the west, taking us beyond midnight. And then when we wake up Tuesday morning, we'll have a cool October breeze, decreasing the clouds, increasing the sunshine, dropping those temperatures too. Holding them in the 60s through Wednesday and Thursday before another shot of rain arrives on Friday.